Here's the beginning of Love is a Fist. I've always thought this was a really cool sound. Uh, he's playing harmonics, as far as I can tell. It's kind of hard to tell because he's using so much delay and there's another guitar that comes in. Uh, harmonics on the 12th fret, E, B, and D. In between there, he's playing this F. That's really the only note that he's fretting. And sometimes he plays the E and the B open. It, here's how it sounds. I've got a little bit of delay on there to kind of imitate how he does it on the recording. I thought this angle might make it a little easier to see. I'm fretting the F, this is my 12th fret here, and I play the harmonics E, then the F, then the B, then the F, then the E, then the F, then the B again, then F, and then kind of walks down all of these. It's that low D. Here's what that uh, distorted guitar, that dirty guitar plays right at the beginning. When, when the clean guitar plays right there, the di dirty guitar comes in with delay and plays. And that is simply, let me turn the distortion off, that is simply a B. That's not a B. That's an A. <laughs> a B and an E. And when he hits that high E, well, it's not that high, when he hits that E right there, uh, the next note is also an E, but he's playing a harmonic where he, with the right hand, it's, it's not, it's, it's not one of these, it's a harmonic where he, this is hard to see if you've never played these kind of harmonics before, uh, he strikes the note, but at the same time his thumb is hitting the string in a certain spot to cause a harmonic. Those harmonics are all over the place. And he's hitting that one right there. For me, it's right where my right where my thumb is anyway. So the difference there is that instead of hitting with just the pick like this, I'm I'm, as soon as it hits the, I'm really choking up on the pick there, as soon as it hits the pick, or as soon as it comes off the pick, it's touching my thumb right there. It's as if I played that harmonic right up there. But it allows you to bend the string, and that's what he does there. Just a little bit of a bend, and he's got so much distortion, it really sounds awesome. Uh, in a way that I can't recreate with the gear I've got here today. This is a bit of an endurance test. The guitar is essentially following the bass line with power chords. You can play the power chords with your index and ring, or like me, index and pinky. Um, let me try to simplify this for you a little bit by just playing single notes at first. It starts on an F, and plays this uh, kind of diminished pattern that is the basis for the riff. That's an F, a B, and a D. F, B, D, B, F, B, D. So it plays that four times, but in between those four times, there's a different tag that happens each time. The first tag um, uh, is slowly, that's. Now you've got to put your, put your other finger on there and play it. So that first phrase of the riff is slowly the next riff uh, or the next part of the riff is the same thing same diminished figure but this time 
it walks down this chromatic thing from F. And that is really hard to pull off. You could do it like that, leaving your, you know, like planting your, your uh, finger that's on the fifth. I tend to go. So it's kind of up to you how you want to do that. The next riff, or the next phrase of the riff is pretty easy because it's just the same notes. Let me do that again slowly. So it's just the same F, B, and D. It doesn't ever play any other notes. And then the last time it plays, when you get to that B, you just play an A, B flat, and B. And you're done, except for that on the recording, obviously there's a lot of, there are several different guitars happening on the recording. Uh, it goes in, it play, the next chord of the song is essentially this E7 with a, a sharp nine. You hear that a lot in Jimi Hendrix and blues records. Um, he doesn't play that that chord on guitar on the recording, uh, although having listened to many live recordings and seen them live, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the chord that's being implied there, and I, I think that he plays that chord live sometimes. <laughs> 